In this video today, we are going to be in Light Farms, which is a master planned community in the city of Salina, Texas. Salina is about 45 minutes north of Dallas and about 20 minutes or so north of Frisco. So it's a suburb of Dallas, or you could even say it's a suburb of Frisco since Frisco is just getting so big. You are going to absolutely love the details in this home. Even just right behind me, I can turn around and I see these giant light fixtures on the outside. Very grand, very beautiful. Cannot wait for you to see the inside of this home. I am Jennifer Fowler and along with my husband Brandon and cameraman today, we run a Fowler Realty team here in the North Texas area and we have people just like you reaching out to us looking to make a move to the Dallas Fort Worth area and we absolutely love it. So if that's you and you're looking to move in eight days or eight months, give us a call, shoot us a text, you can send us an email. All that info is in the description below. If you're just curious about what North Texas is like, what the weather's like or what city you should live in and what that city is like, we would love to help you make that decision to move to the North Texas area. We normally don't spend too much time on the front of a home or outside the home, but this one, we want to take a little bit of time. The first detail I noticed walking up is the etching in the driveway. I know it's just concrete, but it just adds that little extra touch that detail that makes the home seem more luxurious. I already mentioned these beautiful light fixtures outside. This is a three car garage. And then you transition from this etched concrete over here to this paved walkway that leads to the front door. And I don't think you're gonna be able to hear it, but as soon as you hit around this area right here, music is already greeting you before you even get to the front door because they put speakers right under here. And I can just imagine that, you know, you're having your Christmas party and as your guests are walking up, the party has already started right out here because of the music. So I don't know, this is something I might wanna add to my house because it's just so inviting to walk up and to already hear music playing before you even get inside. As soon as you walk in the front door, you're hit by a lot of natural light. And I am a huge, huge fan of natural light. It just makes the home feel so bright and welcoming, but yet warm and cozy. And I wanted to point something out here is also, is this beautiful detail of the shiplap in the ceiling up here, which just adds a little bit more luxury to the house, more character, and in a new home, it is can be difficult to add character, but they have found a way to do it here. The beautiful engineered hardwood takes you all the way through the home. But let's go ahead and take a look into the kitchen and the living room, which are my favorite places at any home to go into. Here we've got your built-ins, a lot more luxury look whenever they built it in rather than just having the refrigerator standing alone. So I'm a huge fan of that. And in this neighborhood in Light Farms, it is gas. So you are going to have a gas cooktop. I like how big and chunky this one is. Beautiful detail on the vent hood with the shaker style cabinets and the flat facing drawers. Um, ooh, the sink. This is a little bit different sink as well. So that's really nice. Beautiful countertops with the dark island. And then behind me is the dining or the breakfast area. Very big, very spacious. It's just surrounded by nothing but windows. So this lets all the natural light in. This builder has done a fantastic job of keeping the home cozy, but yet light and bright. The ceiling in the kitchen does drop compared to the living room. So that makes it feel even a little bit more intimate in here as well. A nice surprise as you walk off of the kitchen is this butler's pantry, if that's what you wanna call it. Great place to store your wine, your liquor. I like how they chose to do the open shelving here with a tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. You've got your pantry on the other side, so it's kind of tucked away from the kitchen. So it keeps your kitchen nice and luxurious feeling without having a door somewhere else off to the side. In the living room, you have to take a look at the ceiling and how grand it is with the beautiful beams and this massive chandelier. I am a huge fan of the chandelier. Once again, don't think my husband will let me do that because he would want a ceiling fan in there with giant blades. 
I'm sure, but I'm a huge fan. I also like the fireplace and how it has a more modern look, but yet it's surrounded by the stone. So that's something that's rare. I haven't seen a fireplace like that in any other model home that I've been in, but huge fan of the fireplace. Out here on the back porch, it feels giant and huge. And I think it's because they chose to take it all the way up to the height of the home when normally you probably see that ceiling probably about where these first windows end, but they chose to take it all the way to the top, which is necessary to have a covered patio here in Texas. And then the fireplace, the brick goes all the way up to the ceiling, which once again, just makes it more grand. It's about 50 degrees here today in mid-November, and I can just picture, you know, sitting out here with the fireplace going, You've got a little charcuterie board and some wine in the evening. It's quiet out here. It's very peaceful. There are speakers out here as well, so I can hear the music playing, but this would just be a beautiful, serene place to end the late afternoon or evening. Anytime you are going to visit a model home, make sure you take your realtor with you on the very first visit. Some builders won't allow you to be represented if you don't. And while we love new construction and we love builders, those contracts are very builder sided. And so you need someone looking out for you and advising you through the home buying and home building process, even on new construction homes. So if you find yourself out and about and you pass by a neighborhood and you wanna look at a model home, give us a call or shoot us a text and we'll meet you there. So that way you're not going in all by yourself. So like I said earlier, Salina is about 40, 45 minutes north of Dallas. Now Salina is gonna have two ISDs. You've got Salina ISD and Prosper ISD as well. Salina is currently around 30,000 in population with plans to expand to well over 300,000 in population. But right now it is a small city and it's gonna stay pretty small for a while. It's not gonna grow to 300,000 overnight. But there are a lot of new construction neighborhoods in Salina to choose from. Light Farms just happens to be the one that we're filming up today. Um, but there's Salina, Prosper, and Frisco are all right close to each other. And like I said, we're about a solid 40 minute drive to the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport here in Salina. And now we're in my second favorite place to be, which is the master bedroom. Always like to see what the designers did. They're usually pretty much about the same, but there's some differences in every master bedroom we go to. So once again, for this builder, they chose to take this engineered hardwood all the way through to the master bedroom, which just gives it a more clean look. And actually it makes the home feel a little bit bigger because it's not chopped up by different flooring. Uh, a lot of windows here that let in the light. You've got the ceiling that's raised with a really nice chandelier. My husband would not go for that in Texas. He would have to have a ceiling fan. Unfortunately, I'd rather have a chandelier. I know you can barely see it, but there is wallpaper on the back. I'm always a fan of that and I always say, put wallpaper somewhere in your house, go crazy, have fun. You can always cover it up with something different if you don't like it. All right, now we're heading to, into this bright, spacious master bathroom with a beautiful light tile with some beautiful marbling in it that matches the almost black cabinets and the brushed gold hardware. You've got dual sinks on this side of the bathroom and on the other side of the bathroom, you have your toilet room or water closet, whatever you want to call it. We call it a toilet room here in Texas. Uh, and then you have a linen closet here with a closet over here and a closet over here. So everybody gets their own closet. Once again, a beautiful standalone bathtub. This is a really large, decent sized bathtub, I have to say. So if it was me, I'd have to figure out somewhere where I can put a television so I can soak in the tub while watching television. Got a pretty spacious shower over here with the window on the other side, which kind of gives it a little bit more of a feeling of space. One thing I want to show you that we're finding that's become very popular in a lot of, especially higher end homes, is having the laundry room right off of the master bathroom. And that's what they did here. So you've got your laundry room, which is a great space here with a countertop, open shelving. That's just a really nice touch to put a pretty backsplash in there. Um, and then your washer and dryer here, which takes you out to another area of the home. So the laundry room is still accessible outside of the master bedroom as well. Upstairs is its whole own living space. Behind me we have 
what's called maybe a flex room that you could do something with. You could put a ping pong table, a pool table, whatever you want to do in here. Nice, light, and bright. But across the hall is what everyone is really going to love, and that is the media room. This space is pretty darn large. Now they've chosen to put a section in here, but you could easily get a couple of recliners in here. If it was me, I would have to have a popcorn machine somewhere up here, either in the media room or right outside the media room, because who doesn't love fresh popped popcorn when you're watching a movie? So this is a great space, the media room, but let's keep going because there's more to look at up here. We're gonna walk down past the hallway. You can see the beautiful living room with the beams and the tall ceiling from up here. Very, very pretty view. Off the front door, on the opposite side of the kitchen, we have another bedroom and an office or a study. We also have a powder room over here. But what I really want you to see is this beautiful open home office. I know I could get a lot of work done in here. I like the built-ins over here. And I really actually appreciate that there isn't a door here, so you're not closed in. And if you wanted to make this a dining room, I suppose it could be a dining room as well. I think it's the best as a home office. And I also like that right across from you on the other side, you have the front porch. So you have these beautiful windows that let even more light in. And then you can also see just what's going on on your front porch when all those visitors come to see you. Um, and then off of the office, we have another bedroom over here. We have a video all about Light Farms and the city of Salina. So make sure you go back and take a look at those and we'll see you on the next one.